After you've determined that you have an insect threat, it is time to implement controls for the pest. Controls are tools that help us manage the insect we are dealing with by reducing their threat. If your goal is to completely eradicate them, then you probably won't get far. In this video, we will name a number of control types, but there are too many to name. We will discuss some of the most important. Though we state a number of types, some management practices could fit into multiple categories. Chemical control is one of the most commonly used tools to manage insects. Chemicals can be used that kill insects, act as repellents, or manipulate insect behavior. Some chemicals are produced naturally and some are produced synthetically. Biological control is an important type of tool to manage insect pests. It is the usage of insect predators, pathogens, and parasitoids called natural enemies which will actively kill pests for us. Sometimes we help natural enemies by providing them with survival necessities or we actively release them in areas where pests are unmanageable. Cultural control can represent a lot of things. Cultural controls have to do with human practices and what we do in our daily life. By changing our human behaviors, we can help reduce pests. It could be as simple as sweeping up the crumbs in your house every day, or as complex as planting different crops next to each other. Host plant resistance is another common type of control. It is where plants are bred or modified by humans to have specific traits that give them extra defenses against insect pests. Now that you know about a few of the different types of controls, let's talk about how to use them together. Some of the greatest battles ever won were accomplished by the strategy of attacking the enemy from multiple fronts. The best way to manage insects is to use a variety of control types instead of relying on just one. For example, if you have a problem with insects feeding on your tomato plants, you may choose to spray pesticides. If you know nothing about biological control and just use the strongest chemicals, you might actually kill off natural enemies at the same time. A better approach would be to try and find a chemical that kills the pest, but is not as harmful to natural enemies like ladybugs. This way you have two different types of control working together to manage the pest. It is important to learn as much as you can about a variety of control methods for whatever pest you are dealing with to combine the efforts of your controls. To learn more about specific types of control for the pest you are dealing with, talk to your local extension office where they can discuss with you your options. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and comment below and click on the video that just popped up on the screen to watch the next video in this series. Make sure to subscribe to stay tuned next time for All Things Insects.